Good morning, Auto Nation! Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to repair plastic bumpers. So we got a question in from a subscriber saying, hey Tony, my Toyota got hit in the rear the other day and I was wondering, can the rubber bumper be pulled out somehow or do I need to replace it? So Henry Dixon, all you have to do is go to learnautobodyandpaint.com and search for bumper repair, okay? And I have a few different articles and videos that show you how to repair all kinds of uh, bumper repairs. Here is one that I did with epoxy. Here is one that was pushed in in the corner, uh, like this one here, okay? This looks pretty severe, right? But this stuff can be repaired. All you gotta do is get a heat gun or a hair dryer. Make sure you get it nice and hot, okay? Then you can push it out from the back or you could even drill holes in it if you want to and pull it out, okay? There's also plastic glue gun pins that you can weld like glue to it and pull it out. But you're gonna have to make sure that it's really, really hot so it pulls out easily. Then you can actually sand it, scuff all around here with a, you'd have to basically scuff all around here with like an 80 grit sandpaper, okay? And then you could basically use Bondo, body filler, okay? Using a good body filler. Uh, and some people say, hey, you know, body filler is gonna crack. Yeah, well, if you, if you hit it to this extent, yes, it's gonna crack just like this cracked. And it looks like maybe this was repaired before because look how thick that is right in here. This this paint, it's it looks like it's body filler. It looks like it's actually been hit and repaired before. Uh, so essentially, this is what it would look like if you repaired it, body filled it, and then hit it again. That's how it would crack. And if you're hitting something that hard, you're gonna get paint cracks like this anyway, right? So. And body filler is flexible to a certain extent. I've repaired, mo I, I can't tell you how many bumper covers like this, you know, like, like this one here. I mean, so many different types of bumper covers like this. And, you know, the customer ends up hitting it again, scratching it again, and it not cracking, okay? So body filler is flexible to a certain extent, in fact, here is actually one of my images from learnautobodyandpaint.com. That's the one on this blog post here. Uh, if we go back, here it is right here. So you see how I pushed it all out? This is actually the, bef the after picture. This is what it looked like, okay? And then we just finished it off with some bumper spray paint after I body filled it. So super, super easy uh, to repair. And I have step-by-step -step videos of this in VIP as well. So if you wanna learn more about Auto Body, check out learnautobodyandpaint.com. Just go to this URL, I'll have a link below in the description, and you can download a free 85-page Auto Body Guide. Okay, we've been giving away tens of thousands of copies like this, and you'll be able to learn, and you can check out uh, what some of our VIP members have done after going through our step-by-step -step trainings uh, from no experience, completely painting trucks, you know, doing body work, before and after shots. These are all images from our VIP members uh, all across the world doing amazing jobs. All right, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed uh, the video. It's super easy to do. All you have to do is heat it up, uh, push it out. You could, you know, push it out from the back if you can reach. This one I did by pushing from the back uh, using some pry bars and tool bars and always use a wet, cool rag to, to cool it off after you push it out. And that's another good tip to make it hard, quick, and uh, keep its shape. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, this is not a video of me actually doing it. If you go to learnautobodyandpaint.com uh, and just type in this, click the search bar here and just put in bumper repair like I did and you'll be able to find these blog posts and videos where I show you how to do it. So here's the actual video of me, of me doing it right here. Okay, so there will be a link below this YouTube video where you can actually watch this YouTube video. Um, if we click here, I think there's an area where I show you I'm using a heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, right, you could actually use your mother's hair dryer. That's, you know, it'll do it. All right, so uh, yeah, hope you liked the video. 
Comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications to get uh, more updates on new videos that I put out answering everybody's question. It's Tony here. Also, don't forget to actually click the link right up over here if you're on YouTube. There's a little ball here where it's gonna have a drop down where you can download the free auto body manual. And also down below in the description is gonna be a bunch of links including a transcription of this video for you. So it's Tony here. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.